This part, I'm pretty excited to cast. When I designed it, I specifically designed it for casting. You can see that the eyes and the nose are pretty shallow so the sand doesn't go far up in there and tear out. The sides are beveled so that way it pulls out of the mold real easy. Here's my sand. I'm checking my sand to see the moisture content. One of the ways to check it is just pick up a handful of it, squeeze it. I'm making a little bit of a uh, mold in my hand and breaking it. Um, you can see it breaks cleanly. You can also see the moisture is not high enough for the sand to stick to my hand. So that's in good shape. The powder that I'm using here is just baby powder. I use it to dust the parts so the parts come out of the mold easily. I also use it as the parting powder. At this point I'm using the strainer to separate the sand and just put the finer particles onto the pattern. It gives it a better, cleaner finish. I'm just packing the sand down tight so that way it doesn't come apart. Just adding the final bit of sand, and now I'm going to take a piece of sheet steel and just scrape the sand off. Now I'm done with the drag. That's the bottom part of the mold. Again, just putting baby powder on it so that way the sand doesn't stick to each other and I can pull the mold apart. There's my sprue and my spin trap. They seem to be working pretty well. I'm not using any facing sand on this. I'm not separating the sand. When I pack the cope, I got to put my finger on the sprue so it doesn't wiggle around. I'm just packing the top again. I'm holding the sprue with my finger so that way it doesn't get hit by the hammer and ruin it or move out of place. It makes it a little bit more difficult to use the sheet metal to clear the top off, but um, it does fine. And you can see a little sand falls down in there, but I, I don't really care. You'll see when I pull this out. Just making the gate. This will go from my sprue down into the part. This part made me pull my hair out. You can see it kept chipping out. I finally said forget it and just pulled it. Cleaning up the gate. This point I'm just using a steel rod. The steel rod that I'm using is a TIG rod 1 8 inch in diameter. I'm making vents in the part. When the aluminum comes in, I need the air to get out of there so the aluminum will run in there evenly. Also, those little vents, when the aluminum goes up, it, it makes these little poles that are easy to remove with a pair of pliers. Just checking the entire mold over again. You can see how the part just fell out. I was real happy that it just falls out. I hate trying to pick it out and have the sand crumble and break. The aluminum I'm using has a high silicon content. Some people use pop can aluminum. The aluminum for pop cans doesn't have that high silicon content, so it has a little bit higher melting point. It's also used for stretching to make the aluminum cans. Casting aluminum with the high silicon content specifically used for casting, and it flows very well with that silicon content in there. So I'd probably say if you're gonna cast something, don't even bother with the pop cans. Just go straight to some aluminum that's been used for casting before. I'm adding more aluminum. I'm not sure how much the part will take, but I sure don't want to come up short on the aluminum. My forge always sounds like it's going to peter out. It just keeps puffing like that with the top off. Now you can see a part melting and some of the dross. I always get the dross off so it doesn't interfere with the pour. I don't really have a way of measuring the temperature. I just make sure the crucible is pretty bright red.
I'm pouring in a little base that I make so that way it doesn't go straight down the sprue and have a lot of turbulence with it. It makes it pour more even this way. This is my favorite part, opening a mold and seeing how it turned out. This one turned out really good. Look how shiny that is, the surface finish on the part. This has the best surface finish I have on a part right now. I haven't had one that turned out this good yet. I'm going to flip it over and you're going to see the vents where the aluminum went up the vents. And again, I can just take a pair of pliers and snap it off and then sand it the rest of the way down on a belt sander. Cutting the gates off. I sat down on the bandsaw and my butt shut it off. So I'll just straddle it to cut the gates off. I did a lot of sanding. I'm just putting in a short little video of it. I couldn't get the back of the casting even, so I just used sandpaper to make it look even. On the back here, you can see a little low spot that I couldn't sand. I just left it. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with the casting. Here's a close-up. You can see how shiny and how the surface finish turned out. I did not do anything with that surface. I didn't polish it, wire brush it, or anything. That is how it came out of the casting. Totally happy with it. I hope you enjoyed my video. Now you can help me out. Hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks.